welcome back everyone i'm hello goddess and this is another pick a card video which is going to be all about what is it that you need to know you need to hear the most right now and if there is some sort of an advice that the universe or your guides have for you that's going to be in this video as well and also if there is something that's hidden from you that you you need to be aware of that's going to be um that's also going to be in this video so we have got three options again the very first option is now before i talk about the options i would want you to focus on the imagery um, rather than the name of the cards um so yeah just focus on what the card looks like and whichever card you feel drawn to that's the one you should pick um, if you feel drawn to more than one you can pick more than one and the timestamps are going to be given in the description box below as usual so um, the first card that we have the first option is the hermit on the very left then we have justice in the middle being the second option and lastly we've got the moon card on the very right which is the third in the last group whichever card is calling out to you the most you can choose that one and um yeah so let's move on to the first option the hermit Okay, so if you've chosen the option number one, these are all of the cards that I got for you. I have Knight of Spears, then we have Five of Cups, Ten of Spears, Page of Spears, then we have Five of Spears, Queen of Spears, Knight of Swords, Nine of Swords, and the Page of Coins. It's so interesting because we have got so many spares. I think somebody here in this pile certainly does have a fire sign somewhere prominently placed in their birth chart um and that would be leo aries and sagittarius but before we move into um like move towards the messages um the topic of today's reading is going to be all about what is it that you need to hear you need to know something that's probably hidden something that you need to be more aware of um so that's all going to be in this video and also if there's some sort of an advice that your guides or the universe want you to um know about whatever subject that is there in your life and that's going to be in this video as well so let's see what do we have for this topic okay first of all somebody could be an aquarius i'm sensing the month of october for some somebody someone's name could be james or something i heard something like that or it could start with j I'm hearing there is something that where you are losing hope. For some of you, this is about this is about a situation where you are literally feeling like you are going to fail. I don't know what this is exactly, but something where you are you you're almost on the verge of losing hope completely. Like you feel like there's nothing here and it's just not going to. But you are going to see. You know, it's kind of like that. I, they kind of give me a vision of the light at the end of the tunnel. That's kind of what it looks like. So you're going to see a glimmer of hope finally. You will have something to cling on to. Some sort of a hope will appear as if out of nowhere. That's kind of what I see. Um, yes. Yeah. okay somebody's also really deep into their thoughts like something is really affecting you a lot this could be a situation that has been going on for some time this could be an event from the past or this could be something you are dealing with right now something which never seems to end or at least in your mind something you've been dealing with lately i'm hearing i'm hearing the words stop right there don't move that's for someone i don't know what that means i also hear that you're finally going to see something 
that you've been wanting to see for a very long time. This is a place you've been wanting to visit and it has some sort of a, I want to say some sort of a cultural, like historical significance to it. This is like a, I want to say it's like a building or some kind, I don't know. But this is very specific that I'm hearing. It's like an, like a form of architecture or something. I don't know. This is going to be, it's not going to resonate with every single one of you. So I know if it does not make any sense to a lot of you. So yeah, it's almost like some place you've been wanting to visit. You've been wanting to see this area, this building, this um, the structure, this monument, whatever this is, which has this cultural, historical significance. You are quite fascinated by this place also, I want to add. So, you're finally going to see it. I'm, he I'm also hearing the word you're going to have. In that moment, you're going to feel contented. That's why I'm hearing. Okay. Let's see what else is there. I'm hearing something that was not working before, like it was not showing you results. It's finally going to start doing so. That's why I'm hearing. Okay. I'm also here going to come across an individual soon. This is for some of you. This individual is quite strong. And also when it comes to their finances, this person is doing really well. But something about this person's energy, it's almost like, are you going to meet up with this person at a time when you would be also doing good when it comes to your finances, if you are not doing so good right now? Or a different thing could be that when this person is going to come into your life or when you will encounter this person at that time you are also going to start elevating when it comes to your money situation that's what i see um it's going to improve for some of you i'm hearing somebody's last name starts with b um i heard something like bennett or like Something like, something along those lines. Um, but with B. I'm hearing, wait, someone's got really dark hair. Oh, okay. You're also meeting up with somebody who's really different from you. I feel like culturally and when it comes to their ethnicity, this person probably belongs to a different race, different nationality than that of yours. That's for some of you. Number seven is significant for someone also. I'm hearing be aware of who you are and be confident. You have to be confident, and that's what you need to know. Okay. Or maybe people perceive you that way. You probably don't realize. People perceive you as somebody who is quite strong, independent, confident. And there is also somebody who has an interest in you, kind of um i want to say speculating about you or like eyeing you right now maybe this person is interested in you okay this is like a i'm hearing there is something huge coming towards you Now, okay, so for this huge thing to come into your life, there is going to be a shift that will take place. 
and the shift might be a bit uncomfortable. It's almost like this. Um, for some of you, you are going through, or you've already gone through, or maybe this could be about your recent past, if it's not happening right now. I'm hearing there is something. I'm also getting the number eight. For some of you, I feel like it's a cycle, like you, it's a pattern of some kind. Um, you have been through this to this type of torment time and time again, I'm hearing. Um, but the thing that I like the most about it is that whatever this torment is or whatever this tough experience is, it is merely just... It's just to shake things up a bit. Also, I do want to say that this is not something pleasant. This is obviously unpleasant. But on top of that, I do want to say that if there are things happening in your life right now which makes you feel like life is not in your control at all and like you feel so um, not okay, like you just feel not sure of things and... Um, not even where your life is headed. I just want to say, if you kind of feel like things are a bit wobbly right now, and that's a good sign. Something really, really bright, really, really wonderful is on its way to you. Somebody's name could start with T. I'm hearing that. Okay. I'm also here and look up. Do not look back. Look up. Okay. I'm also hearing for some of you, there is somebody in your life who's really jealous of you, or like this person is really, um, they see you as a competition, or this person is quite, this person's ego is really, really, like that's a big problem. For this person, for you even, of the kind of feelings they lash out towards other people, especially at you. I do want to say that somebody's, somebody's pride or ego is being crushed. Okay. But this person is jealous of you and they're like, they kind of, they have always despised you, I'm hearing. But it's not time. Also, this person really looks up to you. They think of you as somebody who's quite up there. They think of they think of themselves to be quite small when it when they look at you especially. There's something about you that makes this person feel this way. Maybe something you've done, maybe something you possess, which the, this person does not clearly have. Somebody's name could also start with C. Okay. Yeah, definitely. See it. Also, just be aware a bit. Not everybody around you is so loyal. Yes. It's kind of what I see. Okay. I hear like dramatic music playing all of a sudden in the background. Like really epic dramatic music i don't know are you listening to it some sort of an epic like epic dramatic music like really really intense and like sort of giving off the vibes of i don't know like it's so powerful that's kind of the only thing i can think of when this music is playing but it is for you. That's what you probably don't see. Again and again, I'm hearing that you are not confident. And that's what you need to be. I'm hearing very soon your life is about to change. There's somebody you really look up to, you really admire. 
and you see this person as somebody who's really like you have kind of put this person on a pedestal my guides are saying that very soon very soon people are going to look at you the way you look at this person they're going to admire you the way you do this person also for finances i'm hearing for somebody specific i've got gotten like a lot of messages in regards to finances in this pile like it just keeps coming up and i want to say that things might feel not clear not stable and you might not know how to reach wherever you want to reach like whatever goal you might have you have no clue how to go about it or accomplish it i'm hearing but it starts with a choice so i don't know this might mean something to you um i was hearing number six for some of you something's going to happen in the upcoming six days for you you are going to be clear on something in your life and this has to do with money okay specifically or career it's either of the two it's kind of connected though um but i do see you being fulfilled when it comes to money I'm hearing somebody's going to throw like a grand party or something at their place. This could be you. But I do see it happening. Maybe you're just celebrating the success of some kind. Um, so I'm also hearing Libra for somebody. Okay. I'm going to uh, finish out this part right here. If you liked this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And also subscribe down below if you haven't already. And do keep in mind that this is a general reading. So if you do wish to book a personal reading with me, you can definitely email me. And my email is given in the description box below. Thank you so much once again for watching. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye. See you guys next time. Okay, so if you've chosen the option of a second, these are all of the cards that I got for you. I have Eight of Wands, then we have Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands, the Tower, then we have the Chariot, Justice, Two of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Seven of Wands at last. And I do have a couple of cards off camera as usual. Um, the topic is going to be all about what is it that you need to hear, you need to know, something that you're probably unaware of, um, something that the universe or your guides want you to know, or if there is some sort of an advice that you probably need to hear, you probably need to know right now, um, that's going to be in this video as well. So let's see what do we have for this topic from our guides. Okay. Let me see. I'm hearing it's not that deep. There's something where you're trying to figure out something. There is a situation probably where you're trying to figure out. Maybe a solution or an answer to something. Yeah, or maybe just thinking too highly of a person. I don't know who this person is, but it's almost like they're saying, or the situation, you're probably thinking too highly of the situation. It is not as good as you're believing it to be, or like, especially if this person has had your heart broken many a times, or like, if it is not a new thing and they've done it before. I would say stop. Stop being so vulnerable i would say and also to stop being so i don't know i wouldn't call this optimistic it's like a it's like being hopeful but also kind of at your own um expense to be honest that's what it looks like so whoever this individual is um there is a situation in this person's life where they're probably underestimating things overestimating should i say um you're thinking that this person is 
maybe they're going to change this time maybe the situation is not going to be so worse if this person has hurt you before they are going to do it again that's what my guides are saying i'm hearing aries okay <laughs> and as i said aries i was being reminded of the god of war um aries is the god of war i believe i could be wrong though um and i don't have a very i kind of have a chaotic feeling when i heard that and especially we have the tower so if there's been a lot of conflict in a situation but still you are trying to give it a try i mean that's that's quite stupid i don't know why are you being so ignorant stop it's like inviting conflict inviting stress inviting chaos in your life stop doing that choose the easy way out choose the um choose what you feel is right for you don't be so logical go with what you feel is right go with what you deep down believe to be true don't be so swayed by your thoughts or your fleeting emotions you know okay also trust yourself trust your own judgment the most more than anybody else's even if there are people around you who are trying to guide you who are trying to give you and impose advice is on you um tell you what you need to do what's the right thing for you trust your own judgment about everybody else's yeah so that's even the judgment of tarot readers i would say seriously i mean i'm hearing somebody could be a cancerian um and um also i do want to say that if there is a situation which has recently caused you a lot of trouble or like a lot of heartache there is something there is something good coming out of this situation now i you know i am not advocating for like a blessing in disguise kind of a situation that's this is not what it looks like what it does look like is that you are going to come out of it with a sense of clarity that you never had before yeah so something that has caused you a lot of trouble recently you're going to come out of it with a new found clarity i want to say the kind of clarity you always wanted or should i say the kind of clarity you need in life you probably just don't realize it yet also let's see what else do we have i'm also hearing if there is something you have lost recently especially if it's a friend if it's a person um something it does not even have to be like a person it could be um a situation you got out of it could be a job it could be a career it could be anything really but if there is something that has been cut out of your life recently or you've decided to probably block this person or move away from somebody or um just kind of cut ties do not take it to be your loss you have not lost anything and if truth be told like what is happening in reality is something that you don't even quite realize and the truth is you have not lost anything um but there there was a lot of should i say clutter that was um piling up in our life and it just needed to be cleared out and it is nothing more than clutter so if there were people if there were energies that were just simply not serving you not working for your benefit your guides the universe decided to clear it all out eliminate anything and everything that was not needed not needed for you okay so just keep it um just take it how it resonates yeah and um i'm hearing sagittarius somebody could have that in their birth chart also i do see you somebody somewhere um i see you traveling somewhere and then it's going to rain or i see something to do with rain yes you are okay you're attracting 
Okay, you stop. You should. Okay, I'm just getting so confused. You know what my guides are saying? They're saying there's somebody in this group who always compares. I mean, it's kind of a natural tendency to do so. So it's not that bad of a thing. It's not really. Our brain does it quite wonderfully, like without us even trying. So any person that comes into your life or enters, you have this sort of reflex to just compare this person to the people from the past, the people that you met, the people you were connection you were in a connection with. Um, you have this sort of tendency and it just kind of happens in you compare them to a point where it becomes an obsession or just kind of is it's not good for you, you know? I would probably call it unhealthy or something. You should not do that. The reason is maybe this person okay, the reason why you should not do it is because of a specific individual they're saying who is probably about to enter your life or they're already present in your life now this person is somebody you should really um see in a positive light never compare them to the clutter that was present in your life in the past as they were coaching it before so whatever it was it was just not whoever it was it was not good they were not good should i say um, but the person that's about to come, this person is coming clean, first of all. Clean intentions, um, clean motives. This person is not superficial. This person is not um, going to be like those, I don't know, I'm hearing the word douchebag. <laughs> so maybe somebody was really, really mean or like somebody was really toxic or just hurt you a lot, you know. This person is not going to be like that. Nothing like those individuals. Um, in fact, the opposite of it. There's nothing to compare, really. Number seven keeps coming up. Um, so yeah, there's nothing to compare in this connection with anybody from the past, really. This is the type of a connection you would find sacred. For some of you, this is a love connection, but it does not have to be. It's not necessary that you are going to have. Also, I would say um, this could even be like a friend. Maybe you've lost a good friend and maybe there's a different person coming in for you. Um, that's kind of what I see. Also, if this is not about a friend, if this is not even about an individual, I see that there is there's like a... As I said, I was talking about that newfound clarity whatever hurt you have gone through recently you are about to gain some sort of a in the upcoming three weeks i'm hearing or in the upcoming week um but for some of you it could extend up to three weeks um i'm hearing you are about to have a lot of ideas or epiphanies or epiphany just one probably a realization now this is going to be quite this is going to come out of this hurt, I have to be honest. Whatever hurt you are having, like having to deal with, whatever situation, like crappy circumstance you are in right now, this is the circumstance that is going to trigger this sort of epiphany to come to you. And when this does come to you, it is something you should not doubt. Also, First of all, you're going to get out of this mess, whatever you are in, and that too quite quickly. It's not going to take a long time, and I think you already know it. But also at the same time, I see that, um, I see a lot of you are feeling quite lost. It's like you don't know if you should go in this direction or in that direction. You're kind of in the middle. You are stuck. Yeah, you're in the middle. That's what I see. But I think for you, you really don't have to do anything much as of now. Things are already in motion, I'm hearing. Things have already been... Things have already taken off, okay? And that's the thing. And also, I'm hearing Capricorn for some of you.
Wait, let me see if there's something else. I was hearing there's something about just be ready for changes. I feel like if things have been quite shaky in our life, it's just the beginning. I think there are going to be more and more changes coming in. And that is a big sign that there is something really huge. Okay, here's the thing. So for those of you who are struggling with finances, I would say, or should I say stability when it comes to money, um... I do want to say that there is something coming in for you. This might not seem like a huge thing in the beginning. It might seem ordinary probably or like small. But this is going to turn into such a big thing. This is going to provide you so, so much. Like it's going to turn out to be so fruitful for you. Whatever this decision is, it's a decision I feel like which you are going to make or you've already made probably you're already heading towards this um yeah so that's what i see and um let me see if there's something else i'm hearing don't be afraid to take risks right now you probably should take risks of some kind um if you are afraid to do so don't limit yourself also it's almost like you're staying within that circle where you were in in the past couple of in the past six months or seven months you should probably take some risks again i'm kind of hearing that and that is what is going to um really speed up the process of things but i think things are already kind of um in motion that's what i see and um somebody's also under a lot of pressure which i can see especially with the tower i think in the seven of wands oh my goodness that's that's a deadly combination i think you are not doing well if you're chosen this pile, you are absolutely, like, it's just really, really, um, you're just, it's not going your way. And that's how you feel. It's all kind of, I'm hearing it's going downhill for a lot of you. I'm hearing Leo for some reason. For a lot of you, this time, oh, that's turning out to be so, um, troublesome for you or problematic is because there is some issue with an individual or there's some issue when it comes to love um in further of you if it's not about that then this is about this is about some sort of a contract i would say yes so um i'm going to uh, finish off this part right here wait let me see if there is something else i see the color yellow a lot i feel like okay the reading kind of starts with blue and then it goes to yellow i don't know why am i being drawn to that all of a sudden i know things are not so hopeful right now and you might you probably are not even being optimistic you're just you're probably not hoping things to be like amazing or something especially if you are in the tower phase or like in the seven of wand let's say um or even in the two of pentacles it does not feel right i'm hearing first of all you are going to have what you deserve and also life is not unfair if you think it that way you are going to be where you want to be and 
I don't know why am I preaching all of a sudden. I'm also kind of starting to feel really, really low. I wouldn't be surprised if you're just feeling really mellow. Um, but with that, I, uh, I'm going to finish off this part right here. If you liked this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And also subscribe down below if you haven't already. And do keep in mind that this is a general reading. So if you do wish to book a personal reading with me, you can definitely email me. And my email is given in the description box below. Thank you so much once again for watching. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye. See you guys next time. Okay, so if you chose in the option number third, these are all of the cards that I got for you. I have Nine of Cups, then we have Justice, Ace of Swords, then we have Queen of Swords, the Tower, Page of Cups, then we have the Nine of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and lastly we've got the Eight of Cups. So those are all of the cards that I got for you, and I do have a couple of cards off camera as usual. The topic of today's reading is going to be all about what is it that you need to know you need to hear um also if there is something that your guides or the universe wants you to know if there's probably an advice that you need to hear the most right now that's going to be in this video as well so let's see what do we have for this topic okay if there's an obstacle in your life when it comes to career it's going to be it's going to fall away or you're going to overcome it. So don't worry so much about it, I'm hearing. Yeah. I'm also hearing there's somebody in your life who's, who is, um, I feel like this, is, this has to do with love um, or some sort of a connection that you have with someone i do want to say that there is a person who you probably who you're really close to or like connected to um i don't know what's going on with me too there could be some conflicting situation if there is some conflicting situation if there is a complication going on between you and this individual if things are not easy I think the universe is asking you to move away from this connection, move past this person, finally. It's time. It's over, I'm hearing. Also, um, it's only going to invite trouble if you engage more and more with this person, I'm hearing for some of you. Um, also, this person could have like an obsessive energy towards you, like they could just simply be obsessed with you or like have a crush on you or like be attracted to you i don't know something around that because i see fire and i see like um yes that's kind of what i'm sensing yes i was hearing everything you think is not true especially if it's like if there is something which is really making you doubt yourself, making you feel insecure, specifically something that's making you feel insecure, everything you think is not true. So to stop dwelling on your negative trail of thoughts so much. I'm hearing do not settle for the for the half-hearted that's why i'm hearing do not settle for less you are going to get the entire package if only you would if only you would let the universe define things for you and not take things in your own control also be clear on what you want if you are going to like a formal event, a formal dinner of some kind, I don't know if this is like, this seems like an upscale event for some of you. I see you meeting up with an individual over there, possibly a rich person, um, somebody you're going to have an instant connection with right away. And there's some sort of a, some sort of a closeness that you would share with this person on the very first date. Even if it sounds a bit too much, um, it's just kind of 
insane how this person is going to be drawn to you so much and you would be so drawn to this person as well it's kind of what i see it's almost like a match made in heaven almost perfect you would feel perfect this person would feel like you are perfect for them and you would feel like this, this person is perfect for you that's kind of what it looks like you know kind of like when we meet someone and then we think oh where were you all my life that's kind of what it looks like I was hearing love at first sight so that could be the case for some of you as well somebody's about to fall um definitely yes someone is also not emotionally strong i'm hearing okay i'm saying oh okay i'm hearing there's somebody there's an individual, or probably there are a lot of people. Um, these could be friends, these could be co-workers, these could be family members, these could be, um, this could be a neighbor even. What I'm hearing is that there is somebody, this could be a neighbor, literally. Um, kind of freaky. But there is a need for you to protect yourself, guard yourself. There's somebody who's watching you or who's just too invested in you. These people are probably talking about you. You kind of need to protect yourself. Put a guard on yourself. Probably don't share too much about your life. There's something that you're doing and people are able to watch you. Try to do it in a way that they cannot. Maybe you should block some people from your life. I don't know what you need to do. It's going to be different for you guys. Um, it's kind of weird. You know, it's almost like you are so carefree. So carefree in something. We should not be. You should be a bit careful. A bit cautious of some people that are around you. Because they're not very nice, I see. These people, I see the look in their eyes. They're not very nice. I'm hearing the word malice, malicious intentions somebody has got. So just be aware of that. Somebody's wearing the color purple or blue. I see that. Yes. I'm hearing the song Drag Me Down by One Direction. Yes. Also, wait, let me see. What is it? why settle for the beggar i don't know it kind of sounds really harsh but or maybe you should not settle for something or a situation which is not in your highest good a relationship that's not making you happy i don't know um somebody could be an earth sign first of all taurus Virgo, capricorn or you just becoming more and more and more stable and grounded as life is happening to you um, I know that you are so aware of yourself and you are so um, smart and wise and you know what is right for you. You're also quite clever, I would say. Probably the cleverest in the room, I'm hearing. There are a lot of people. You have a lot of admirers. Um, admirers. Also, there are a lot of people who are always wanting to spend time with you always striving for your attention for some reason i don't know what is it that you do or maybe there's just something about you that makes these people behave in this way um somebody's name could start with m i was hearing k something could have happened around christmas or is going to happen around that time i'm hearing you why do you keep going back in circles when you know who you are and what your worth is. Why do you keep doing that? I'm hearing prepare yourself. For there is something. Something. Surprise. Like there is a big surprise. Something surprising. Something. 
um, blissful and not is on its way to you. So be prepared for it. Some Somebody's name could start with A. I'm hearing that. Um, yes. I also do see a lamp of some kind. I'm hearing the word free. There is a situation where you feel caged, where you probably don't know what to do. A situation where you feel stuck, where you feel bound. Um, you are going to be free from this cycle, free from this whole experience, this whole situation, regardless of how caging, regardless of however it may feel, you're going to be out of it and you are going to do it. I was hearing there's something you've done recently and you should be so proud of yourself. Are you even acknowledging that? something you've done recently the people around you seem in such high regard seem in such positive bright light yet i don't even know if you do see yourself that way yes i'm hearing you are about to have what you really truly deserve not some half-hearted thing or like a connection which is like okay decent enough no also somebody's about to have a huge jump when it comes to their finances somebody's um somebody's really um tired of tired of having to worry about money tired of working so hard for money I'm hearing also, so you are about to have like a major leap when it comes to somebody's really exhausted of something. You're so tired of it, so tired of it. You just don't want it. You feel overwhelmed. You feel tired. You feel exhausted of a situation of probably your life and how it's going. And if you are in this zone, and if you kind of resonate with my words, I do want to say, have you ever wondered why you're feeling this way? Why you feel so exhausted and tired, just so done with all of it? Because you are doing the same things you've always done. You are not doing something different. You are moving in circles. You are stuck in a cycle. There's no other way to say it. That is the truth. You keep choosing the same thing, the same person, the same feeling. You have to change that. You have to break the habit, the pattern. You have to break it. I'm hearing you have to embrace the new. And you are not doing that. And... Um, yes. I was hearing love wins in the end, so I don't know what that is. Somebody could be a Gemini, I see that. And number nine could also be significant because we have two cards with number nine on it. That could be significant. Oh, okay. I'm hearing something is on the verge of breaking or already is out of your life or like it already is starting to collapse we have the tower so it does kind of confirm the message that i just got um so yeah something is on the verge of collapsing on the verge of ending something is you cannot hold it together even if you try it should it must collapse i'm hearing Yes. I'm hearing the song Starving. I believe it's by Haley Stanfield. Listen to that one. I think it um it might make some sense to you or you might resonate with that song in some way. I'm also hearing Starships. I believe it's by Nicki Minaj. Listen to that one too. Um yes. Number four is significant for someone.
I'm hearing don't worry about the small details. Just worry about the big thing. Look at the big picture. Everything else is going to be taken care of. Just worry about the big picture. Don't don't dwell too much or don't focus too much on the details. I don't know what is it that you're worrying about or stressing about. But if it's a small thing or if it's like a tiny detail, stop worrying so much. I'm hearing you are perfect. Okay. Maybe somebody's being critical of their appearance or like something within themselves. Okay. Someone's name could start with D. I'm hearing that. Someone could be listening to, I'm hearing Demi Lovato. That could also be the case. Um, yes. So I'm going to finish off this part right here. If you liked this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And also subscribe down below if you haven't already. And do keep in mind that this is a general reading. So if you do wish to book a personal reading with me, you can definitely email me. And my email is given in the description box below. Thank you so much once again for watching. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye. See you guys next time.